Hey, what's up guys? Um, so today I'm going to make a quick video showing you guys a cool trick that I learned recently. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to grab a few files, any files you want. You can take, um, for our example, I'm going to use this file and this file. There's two files here. What we're going to do is we're going to hide these files within a JPG image. Um, and then uh, what what the end result is going to be is we're just going to have one image but hidden inside this image will be these two files and no one will know so um, it's a cool way to I guess encrypt your files if you need to and um, to if you need to share files secretly with others without people knowing uh, this might be another way as well um, there's multiple uses for it uh, but it's just something interesting to know um, so to get started, uh, what I did is uh, what you, you what you want to do is you can make any folder, make a new folder, um, or you can use an existing folder as well. But just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna make a new folder. Uh, I just right click my desktop, go to new, and I'm gonna go folder, and let's just call this hide files. We'll just call that. Okay, um, so I have this folder. It's empty right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the. I'm gonna grab these three files, and we're gonna copy it over to this folder. Okay. Now we have these three files in um, this folder. What you wanna do is uh, let me just change the view so it's easier for you guys to see what's going on. Um, okay, so what you want to do is you want to highlight the two files you have. These two, whatever file, any files you have in your folder, you can do this with, I don't know, maybe you know, hundreds of files if you want to. But um, for this example, I'm going to use these two files. Highlight the two files. Um, right click, go to send to, and then compressed zip folder. Select that. Now you can name the zip file any anything you want. Uh, we'll just call this test files. Okay. Um, so what what we just did is we compressed both these two files into one zip file. Uh, now that we have this file, what we, now we need to open up command prompt. So you can hit start and go cmd. You can get command prompt like that. If you want, you can press Windows R, and this will come up. Then type CMD in here, like that, and hit OK, and you'll see command prompt opened as well. Uh, so this is the part where the magic happens. It's we're gonna enter a line, and that line is going to join these two files uh, with this image, and we're gonna output we're gonna have a new Im new JPG image that's gonna have these files hidden inside it so what we wanna do is within command prompt itself we we sh first we need to browse to this folder so where is this folder right now we I have it in C users MFS desktop hide files so uh, right now on uh, command prompt I'm at C users MFS and uh, to change directories you just type CD space and to type the name of the directory you want to go into next so right now I know I'm in users MFS you'll see right here users MFS the next one I want to go is desktop so we can type desktop you see we went to desktop now the next one was the name the actual file I made which is hide files so CD CD stands for change directories so cd space and hide files and hit enter and you should be now it'll now we're actually inside this folder itself to double check that you are inside the folder you want you can just simply type dir and it'll show you all the files inside that folder so we know we're in the correct file cuz i have the tech void image here and then the test file txt test test files word doc there and the zip file that we made before too so we have all we have all four that we need now this is the part where you have to enter the line 
of uh, code to join these files. So what it is is you type copy space slash b space uh, then the name of the jpg f image file that you have right now so in my case it's here it's techvoid underscore underscore roly roly dot jpg so text uh, type in i'm typing in techvoid roly dot jpg that's the name of the image file then space plus sign then you want to type in the name of the zip file that you have so in my case the zip files name is testfiles.zip so we're going to do testfiles.zip okay and um, after this you hit space and now you simply type in the name of the image file that you you're, you want to create so for our example I'm just gonna make it maybe output dot jpg uh, so that's that's the name of the test the end result image we're gonna have so now you just hit enter and you'll see that it made a new copy of my image exactly the name we wanted output dot jpg and uh, right now it, it just looks it, it looks exactly like a normal image if I double click it it's gonna open it up like the same as always everything's fine but within hidden within this file within this image file is two these two files that I hid inside how you can to double check an easy way to double check is if I click on this you'll see the file size is 283 this is my original image now if I click on this you'll see the file size is 293 so you know the file is bigger because we added these two files inside there and it's hidden and there's no no, no normally no one would know that these files are in there because if I open it up nothing everything's fine it doesn't show me like oh you have two files hidden here but uh, if you want to actually access those two files uh, it's uh, quite simple. All you need is um, if you have uh, any uh, RAR program, I guess, like WinZip or WinRAR, uh, you'll want to open up. In my case, I have WinRAR. Uh, I'm just going to open it up. I'll show you guys how to open it. So, WinRAR. Click that. It opens. Okay. And then now in. Uh, in WinRAR what you want to do is go to file then open archive and browse to the browse to your actual folder where you have this output image in my case it's my desktop and hide files that's the one we made and right now it's just showing the zip file but we want to see all files so to do that just click on this drop down click all files and you'll see we have this output.jpg that's the one we created and um, although it's just a JPG image we're gonna select this through WinRAR to open now just hit, op hit open and there you go you'll see that you have the two files that you hit inside uh, inside the JPG image so um, uh, thanks guys for watching this video I know it's a uh, it was a little bit complicated but uh, I hope it'll help you guys out and uh, it's just something interesting that you can keep in mind you can impress others with as well <laughs> um, so I hope this video helped you guys out thanks a lot for watching don't forget to comment rate and subscribe take care guys